Alright. Hey guys, um, I picked up this pair of Beats Pros last night from a guy off of Craigslist. Um, he claims that they're new. I uh, bought them for $200. Um, says that he buys them bulk, uh, like big quantities at a time, directly from Monster in Las Vegas. Claims that they're new. Um, I'm not so sure that if they're new or fake. When I got them and came home, I was looking at them and uh, found a few things that worry me a little bit. And I proceeded to go on YouTube and watch a bunch of people's videos, um, probably for a good two hours last night. Um, and I just, after watching all of them, I just got completely confused because um, I just don't even know anymore if these are real or fake because it seems that the Chinese are making such good fakes and such good counterfeits that it's uh, it's freaking ridiculous and frankly it's it's pretty frustrating I really don't even want to deal with it I'm thinking about just returning these um, okay so everything looks pretty good on the packaging like um, it's got the TM symbols on Dre and Beats on the front and even down here as well You've got the TM um, Monsters in gray. Some people said it should be in white, but I'm not sure if that's the case on the Beats Pros. Um, let's see, turning to the side here, um, everything looks okay. Nothing really I could find. Um, oh, the box is a little bit um, banged up. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, up here too. Uh, so people are saying that, you know, that kind of happens when it when they come all the way from China. So maybe that's why. Um, Go to the other side. Uh, Dr. Dre's face, of course, is looking a little dark to me as compared to other people's. Um, you can see his neck, but barely, like right there. Um, so it does look a little dark. Here, down here, I have the straight line. People said that if it's fake, it'll have a slash, but I don't know, because his face looks kind of dark. Um, okay, flipping to the back. <clears throat> Um, everything looks okay on the back. I mean, it's got the barcode and everything, but I know that they've been faking that. Um, the one thing that really does concern me is that I read all the text on all the packaging right away before I even opened it. And uh, if you look right here, both ear cups flip. They misspelled flip. Should be F L I P, but it's F I L I P. Um, that's the only typo I could find in all of the packaging. Uh, so that's a big red flag for me. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's open it. Okay. Um, everything looks okay here. Uh, some people were saying that if it was real that the bag should be down here, not up here. I don't know if that's the case. That's how mine came. Um, you open this, and uh, I've got the sound matters. I've seen some people's don't say that. So, you know, there's just things that say that these are real, and then there's things that say that they're not. Um, I've got the Turn It Up booklet. Um, I don't have that booklet um, that's kind of like small and blue that uh, shows you like about the monster products and about the monster world. I don't have that. Um, but this did come with everything else. Let's see if I can open this here. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it comes with the Turn It Up booklet, um, the ear decibel warning stuff, um, customer service card and the manual and the warranty and the manual um, does show the pro in the, uh, in the instructions again it is showing the pro okay um, this the microfiber cloth or the clean cloth um, it looks like shit to me it, it looks uneven I don't know if you guys can see it um, yeah, it just looks like it was sewn uneven, and, um, I don't know, it just looks pretty small. Some of the ends are frayed. You can see that. Um, 
and also they ran the stitching over this white tag, but I've seen that the real ones are like this. They have the stitching over the tag even though it looks like crap, um, as opposed to the fake ones that the stitching is not running over this white tag. So I don't know. Maybe it's real, maybe it's not. I have no idea. If it is real, um, that that's a pretty crappy cloth for being real. Um, okay, the cord. I don't really have anything special to say about the cord. It's the cord. Um, maybe it's a little bit off red. I have no idea. And uh, this, I know that these are not, these do not come with the Beats Pro. Um, this is an extra cord that the guy that I bought it from threw in. Um, it's a, it's like a microphone cord so you can uh, push this little button and uh, answer your phone calls when you're listening to your headphones. That's irrelevant. Um, okay, so to the headphones. I mean, they seem nice. I tried them on, I listened to them before I bought them. It sounded all right to me, but you know, I don't really use headphones that much and uh, I don't know a whole lot about audio quality and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, they, they spin and everything just fine. They, I mean, they don't spin all the way around, but they flip. And, uh, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Let me just adjust them. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so they, they just look like Beats Pros. Um, the bees seem like they're little crooked. I don't know if they're supposed to be pointing straight up or not. Especially that side. That side looks pretty crooked. Um, I mean, they work fine and everything. The daisy chaining works, all that stuff. They look real. Um, as far as the adjustment pans, they are very loose. If I just jiggle it, they drop down completely. So they slide and move very, very freely. Um, so I know that's that's something that people were saying is what the fakes are. They're not supposed to move that easily. Um, yeah, it just, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It does make a ratcheting noise, but it's very, very easy to move. Again, I mean, I just I barely move them and they drop all the way down. Um, the other thing is that people were saying that there should be some sort of sticker here on the left piece. I mean, that's L. And then over here is R. And there's no sticker or serial number or anything. Um, I know that these do not are not part of Monster's serialization program, which is unfortunate. But there's no sticker or, like, FC warning label or any of that stuff, like the FCC electronics code or whatever that is. Yeah, there's nothing like that. Um, and then uh, I guess the last thing would be the bag. No really complaints, uh, or no real complaints on the bag, I should say. Um, just looks like a bag. Um, um, although, they should include a hard case. I don't know why the studios come with a hard case and the more expensive pros come with a soft case. I'm not sure why they decided to do that. I think that, if anything, these should come with a hard case. Um, yeah, it says Beats Pro on it on one side. The other side, it's got the Beats by Dre, the Monster logo, um, the little metal uh, tightening thing. Uh, the inside is, I don't know, kind of like a, like a jacket or a coat, that sort of material. Um, and that's about it. So if you guys have any insight as to if you guys know that these are real or not, that would be great. Um, I think I'm going to return them, hopefully, uh, because I, I think they're fake. I'm leaning more towards that they're fake. So yeah, thanks guys.